still having trouble distinguishing between. You have what? I'm still having trouble distinguishing between the two omega uses. The two omegas. Yeah. Uh, I will explain that some more when we do the torsional motion and the, and the pendulum. Okay. It's because that's where the confusion arises with the string masses, and there's no confusion. Okay. So wait, and you know, by Friday it should be clear. If it isn't, let me know. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, now here I have something that I wanted to show you earlier, but I kept forgetting. It has to do with uh, rotational statics. But first I want to ask you a question. How many people have heard that uh, when there is the vernal equinox, you can balance an egg on a flat surface? Have you heard that one? Yeah, you've heard that one. Uh, some people think it's a hoax. But really, you can do it if you know what you're doing. And it has to do, it's related to rotational statics that we have been doing. And it's also related to angular momentum as a vector. Because you have to take into account the uh, orbital motion of the Earth around the sun and the spin of the Earth around its axis, which is tilted, as you know, with respect to uh, the orbit of the Earth, the ecliptic. Okay, so you can do this even after the uh, equinox if you take into account how much later you're doing this. If instead of using a uh, flat surface, use an inclined plane. And the angle of the incline has to do with how many days after the equinox you're doing this. And it needs to be uh, oriented north-south. North is that way. We have a compass here. But then, depending on the time of the day, if it's after uh, afternoon, when the sun is directly overhead, you need to rotate by 15 degrees for every hour. So it's about, it's about 1 o'clock, so I need to rotate like this, 15 degrees. Okay. So let's see if that works. And then I will explain to you how the equations work so that you can do this at home if you wanted to. Okay. Now, the egg is sometimes very important because they need to be very fresh because there is a pocket, as you know, of air and you need to minimize that pocket. If you have chickens in your backyard, even better, you can grab a very fresh egg. So let's see if this works, okay, this particular one. We need to be very careful here. Yeah. I don't think this is good. Let's try another one. Someone said it? March 21st. March 21st. Okay. And what's today? Huh? April 1st. Also known as? April Fools. So, how does this work? It's been doctored. Dave sucked the egg out and put a little magnet in. And there is a little magnet underneath <laughs> that holds the egg in place. Okay. Oh, bummer. <laughs> okay. 